This is the TV44 High School Whiz Quiz with your host, Dancy Moeller. Hi, everybody. This is an exciting game. It's the championship. It seems like we just started yesterday, and here we are with our two top teams. We have Bell Fountain and Riverdale High Schools joining us, and we're so thrilled that they are with us. Let's introduce you to our players who have worked so hard this season. Joining us from Riverdale High School, we have Andrew Borkowski, Samuel Thacker, Zachary Kaler, and Justin Hartman. Riverdale is coached by Christy Thacker. Welcome to you gentlemen. All right, turning now to Bell Fountain. We have Ben Sailors, Miriam Eyrick, Lily Evans, and Justin Long. Bell Fountain, coached by Donna Bruner. Welcome back to all of you. Is everybody ready? All right, this is a little, little bit different the way this is played. We have three rounds, we have 20 questions. In each round, they are all yours. Make sure you get those buzzers ready. They're worth 10 points apiece. We have our judge back with us, Mark Dickman. So hopefully he can just sit there and, and do what he needs to do. But um, we want to make sure that you answer as loudly as possible and make your answers as complete as possible, OK? All right. Is everybody set? Question number one. Who said, Vini Vidi Vici, Vici, sorry. All right, that would be Riverdale. Julius Caesar. Julius Caesar is the correct answer. All right, question two. In what year was Paris liberated from Nazi Germany? Yes, that would be Riverdale. 1945. 1945 is incorrect. Bell Fountain, you've got a chance. Yes. 1944. 1944 is the correct answer. All right, question number three. What musical instrument beginning with the letter K is from the percussion family? Yes, Riverdale. Conga. I'm sorry? Conga. That is incorrect. Bell Fountain, you want to try it? No? Okay, the answer is kettle drum. Oh. What? All right, oh. number four. Name the swamp that was drained to allow livable conditions in Northwest Ohio. Yes, that would be Riverdale. The Black Swamp? That would be correct. All right, number five. Name the Scottish explorer in Africa sought by Stanley. Riverdale. Livingston. Could you expand that? John. I don't think we're going to be able to take that answer, so we're going to move it over to Bell Fountain for your try. Yeah. Stanley Livingston. That is also incorrect. It's Dr. Livingston. Uh, I presume. All right, number six. Who preceded Winston Churchill as British Prime Minister? Yes, Riverdale. Chamberlain. Could you expand the name? Neville. That is correct, Neville Chamberlain. Give the pen name of Mary Ann Evans. Yes, Bell Fountain. Nancy Drew. That is incorrect. Riverdale, you want to try? Yes. Lemony Snicket. That is also incorrect. George Eliot is the oh. answer. All right, number eight. What does the acronym NATO stand for? Yes, Bell Fountain. North American Treaty Organization. That is incorrect. Oh, Riverdale, you want to try? The North Atlantic Treaty Organization. That is the correct answer. All right, number nine. The poem, The Charge of the Light Brigade, originated from what war? Yes, that would be Riverdale. The Civil War. The Civil War is incorrect. Bell Fountain, you want to try this? Yes. War of 1812. That is also incorrect. The Crimean War is the answer. Question 10. In what cathedral was Thomas Beckett murdered? Riverdale. St. Paul's Cathedral. Incorrect. Bell Fountain. Yes. Catterbury? 
Catbury. Canterbury. That is, it's Canterbury oh, Cathedral. Man. All right, here we go. Next 10 questions. Andromeda and the Milky Way are what? Yes, Riverdale. Galaxies. Galaxies is the answer. What documents did a shepherd boy find in Jordan in 19, yes, Riverdale. The Dead Sea Scrolls. The Dead Sea Scrolls is correct. All right, name the Protestant revolt against the supremacy of the Pope. Yes, Riverdale. The Protestant Revolution. That is incorrect. Belfontaine, you've got a chance. Yes. The Protestant uprising. That is also incorrect. It's known as the Reformation. Oh, um, yeah. All right. Who wrote the Harry Potter series? Yes, Riverdale. J.K. Rowling. You are correct. What is the largest planet in the solar system? Yes, Riverdale. Jupiter. Jupiter is correct. On what party's ticket did Abraham Lincoln run? Yes, Riverdale. The Republican Party. The Republican Party is correct. Who was Napoleon's first wife? Time is up, the answer is Josephine. Okay, you have three questions remaining in this first round. What does amore mean in English? Yes, Riverdale. Love. Love is correct. Mm -hmm. Who was the Mongolian ruler that had planned to conquer the world? Yes, Belfountain. Genghis Khan. Genghis Khan is correct. Final question, round one. How many keys does a piano have? Yes, Riverdale. 88. 88 is the answer. All right, everybody breathe for a little bit here. We've come to the end of our first round. Here is the score. Belfountain, you have 20 points. Riverdale, 110. We're going to be back with round two. 20 more questions right after this. Don't go away. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by Hupy Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, welcome back to Wiz Quiz, everyone. Our championship game, or as one of our players has referred to it as a mind hockey game, which it kind of is, to be honest. So we have our second round now ready to begin. 20 questions with 10 points apiece. Everybody set, ready to go. All right, here we go. One, where is the Great Barrier Reef? Yes, Riverdale? Off the coast of Australia. We will accept that. What city is nicknamed the Eternal City? Yes, Riverdale. Rome. Rome is correct. Mm -hmm. Give the common name for trachea. Yes, Belfountain. Throat. Throat is incorrect, Sorry. Riverdale. Adam's apple. Also incorrect, the answer is the windpipe. Oh, yeah. Number four, in the Old Testament, what individual parted the Red Sea? Riverdale. Moses. Moses is correct. In wrestling, what is the class in between lightweight and middleweight? Yes, Riverdale. Um, featherweight. That is incorrect. Belfountain, you want to try? Yes. Flyweight. Also incorrect. Welterweight uh -huh. is the answer there. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's Where was the first subway system which opened in 1890? Yes, Riverdale. New York. New York is incorrect. Mm -hmm. Bell Fountain? Mm -hmm. Yes. Boston. Boston? Boston is it's also London? incorrect. It's mm -hmm. London. Oh, oh. All right. In Chinese philosophy, which represents duality such as hot, cold? Yes, Riverdale. Yin and Yang. Yin and Yang is correct. Mm -hmm. Name the hobby that involves exploring caves for fun. Yes, Riverdale. K 
caving. That is incorrect. Bell Fountain, you want to try? Splunking. Spelunking is the answer we're looking for. All right, number nine in the second round of our championship game. What American photographer is best known for his black and white landscape? Yes, that would be Riverdale. Ansel Adams. Ansel Adams is the answer. Ten. What body of water does the River Sen empty into? Yes. The Mediterranean Sea. The Mediterranean Sea is incorrect, Riverdale. Bell Fountain, you want to try it? Yes. Atlantic Sea. Atlantic Ocean. That is incorrect. Yeah. It's the English Channel. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Here we go with our final 10 questions in our second round. The Stradivarius is what type of instrument? Riverdale. A piano? Piano is incorrect. Bell Violin. Fountain, you've got a chance. Violin. Violin is correct. Name the pilot who was the first woman. Yes, that would be Riverdale. Amelia Earhart. That is the correct <laughs> answer there. What is the instrument used to detect serious ground movements? Yes, that would be Riverdale. Um, Richter scale. Is yeah, incorrect. Nice. Bell Fountain. Seismograph? Seismograph is correct. Okay, identify the pasta formed into small packets filled with meat or cheese. Yes, Bell Fountain. Ravioli? Ravioli is the answer. What London landmark has a hand that is 11 feet long? Yes, that'd be Riverdale. Big Ben. Big Ben is the answer. Name the strait that connects the Mediterranean and the Atlantic. Yes. Strait of Gibraltar. That is correct, Riverdale. All right, what fruit is best known for its magnesium and potassium content? Riverdale. Bananas. Bananas is the answer. Three questions remaining in round two. Who was Sherlock Holmes' friend and Riverdale? Watson. Could you expand? John Watson. That is correct. All right. What is the spring flower that is associated with the Netherlands? Oh. Riverdale. Tulips. Tulip is correct. Final question, round two. What country is Transylvania in? Romania. Romania is correct, yes. Bell Fountain. All right. Yes. We've come to the end of round two. Everybody just take a deep breath and exhale for a minute. Here is our score right now. We have Bell Fountain with 70 points, Riverdale 220. We're going to take a break and be back with our final 20 questions in our championship game right after this. Tonight's Wiz Quiz contests are brought to you by QP Hamburgers, the taste of Lima since 1928. And by the Tom All family of dealerships, Chrysler, Buick, Dodge, and Hyundai, the home of the Knock Your Socks Off deal. All right, we are 20 questions away from naming our champion of the fall season of Wiz Quiz. We have a game going now between Bell Fountain and Riverdale Local Schools. Riverdale with 220 points, Bell Fountain with 70, but again, this round, 20 questions worth 10 points apiece. All right, here we go, question number one. Name the body of water that the Danube River flows into. Yes, that would be Riverdale. The Black Sea. The Black Sea is correct. Mm -hmm. Give the specific European city which was home to Checkpoint Charlie. Mm -hmm. Riverdale. Berlin, Germany. We will accept that. Berlin. Who was the king of the Huns from 406? Yes, that would be Riverdale. Attila. Attila is correct. Who was the patron saint of love? Yes. Riverdale. Cupid? Cupid is incorrect. Bell Fountain, you've got a chance. St. Yes. Valentine? St. Valentine is the correct answer. 
What New Testament word means teacher? Bell Fountain. Messiah. Messiah is incorrect. Riverdale, you want to try this one? Rabbi. Rabbi is correct. All right, who wrote The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe? Yes, that'd be Bell Fountain. C.S. Lewis. C.S. Lewis is correct. What radioactive metallic element is the main source of nuclear power? Yes, Riverdale. Uran Riverdale. Uranium. Uranium is correct. Question number eight in our final round. What is the religion practiced in Haiti that includes magic and trances? Hmm. Yes, Riverdale. Voodoo. Voodoo is the answer. Name the mountain that erupted to destroy Pompeii. Yes, Riverdale. Vesuvius. We will accept that. That is correct. What books of the Bible make up the Gospels? Yes, Riverdale. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. You are correct. All right. Okay, everybody. We're moving into our final 10 questions of this championship game. What organs need for oxygen causes angina pectoris pain? Yes, Riverdale. Lungs. Lungs is incorrect. Bell Fountain, you want to try? Yes. Heart. Heart is correct. Yeah, pectoris. Name the world's longest river. Bell Fountain. The Amazon. That is incorrect. Okay. Riverdale. Nile. The Nile is the answer there. What is the fine-grained paper beginning with the letter V that is used for writing paper? The answer is vellum. Oh, All right. Identify the percussion instrument composed of a series of bars struck by hammers. Riverdale. Chimes. Chimes is incorrect. Bell Fountain, you want to try? Yes. Xylophone is correct. The turkey buzzard and the condor, are these large birds of prey? Yes, Riverdale. Scavengers. That is incorrect. Bell Fountain, do you want me to complete the yes, question? Please. Yes, please. The turkey buzzard and the condor, are these large birds of prey beginning with the letter V? Vultures? Yes. Vultures. Vultures is correct. In the Bible, who was the dancer that wanted John the Baptist's head on a platter? Yes, Riverdale. Herodias' daughter? That is an incorrect answer. Bell Fountain, you want to try? <laughs> no. Salome is the oh. answer. All right. What horse-drawn vehicle transported passengers and mail? Yes, Bell Fountain. A carriage. Carriage is incorrect. Riverdale, you want to try? Yes. A buggy. Buggy also incorrect. Stagecoach oh. is the answer. All right. We have three questions remaining in this championship game. What men's suit of the 40s included baggy pants? That would be Riverdale. Zoot suit. Zoot suit is correct. Name the national park established in 1890 that is in the Sierra Nevada range. Sierra Nevada. Petrified forest. Yes, that would be Bell Fountain. Petrified forest. That is incorrect. Riverdale, you want to try? Yes. Uh, uh, Badlands. That is also incorrect. The answer here is Yosemite oh. National Park. Okay, we've come to our final question. I want you, both of you teams, to know you've done an awesome job and have represented your schools very well. So thank you for being with us this season. Okay, let's move on to our final question in this championship game. Name the lower chambers of the heart. Riverdale. The right and left ventricles. That is the correct answer. 
All right, we've come to the end of our championship game and we do have a winner. Here is our final score. Bell Fountain with 120 points, Riverdale 330. So congratulations, you are the champions of our fall season. Bell Fountain, thank you so much for joining us and we'll be back to talk with the winners, both teams, right after this break. Don't go away. Right, the pressure is off finally and everyone can relax and we are so happy that you are still sticking with us because these are two great teams. Actually, this is the first time both teams have come away with awards, so we want to congratulate both of them. Bell Fountain runners up, I, I am just so pleased with all of you. You have um, been a great team to work with and Donna Bruner, I know that this is a special moment for you. Yes, it, I've been doing this for seven years, and we finally made it to the championship, and we're very excited. Very good. Well, we always like to see faces return. Are we going to see any returners, or are they all seniors? Uh, we have no seniors, so they might good. all be back next year. All right. Very good. Well, congratulations to all of you. You should be very proud. Thank you. All right, Christy Thacker, congratulations. You. And you also, this is the first time that you're carrying some medal home, right? Yes, absolutely. We've made it to the quarterfinals before, but never beyond. All right, very good. Well, tell us about your team, and um, I know that we're going to have to say goodbye to all of them. Uh, yes, actually, we decided to bring our four seniors to play the quiz, quiz tournament this year. So um, I've been with these boys since they were seventh graders, and this kind of special time for us because they won the championship. Well, congratulations, you guys. You're a gentleman, and it was a joy for me. And I know that those that watched at home to um, see you get to this place, um, are you related to anyone by chance? <laughs> uh, yes, this is uh, Samuel Thacker, my son, and our team captain. All right, wonderful. Well, congratulations, and I know it's a very special moment for all of you as well. Well, we want to thank you for watching. I know many of you play at home, and hopefully you had a great time. We will be back in the new year for WizQuiz 2019. We'll see you back then. Bye-bye.